In this session, I will cover Sun Study animations, which are stationary walkthroughs created from a 3D camera view. These walkthroughs can be used to create sun studies with a time lapse view or with a seasonal view. In this time lapse video, there's a begin time and an end time. You'll see it in the upper left hand corner as the sun moves across the sky towards the evening. In the seasonal time lapse, this is at the same time every day, in this case 10 a.m. You can see the effects of the sun each day throughout that period of the year. Let's take a look at the process to create your stationary walkthrough. First of all, make sure you've placed your north pointer. Then, we're going to need a sun angle, and you'll need two of these, one for a start time and one for an end time. In a sample plan, I'll go down there in a minute, on floor zero is where I put my terrain, and I've also put my sun information on that level. The second thing is, you're going to want to start from a 3D camera that you've already created, you've defined the lighting, the sunlight, etc., and you're very happy with that camera. Then we'll define the style as a time lapse or seasonal. We'll set the time duration, how long do you want it to run, maybe 15 seconds, maybe longer. And then when you get ready to record it, how many frames per second, typically 30 is a good number. If you want higher fidelity, you can go up to 60. And then finally, the resolution you record it in. I typically will record mine in the 1920 by 1080. So let me first go to floor zero. On floor zero, you can see my house structure. You see one of the shadows is created, and then you see my sun angles. Let's zoom in and take a look at the sun angles. I've color coded my sun angles. This is just something I do. When I color code them, I do it in a way that is also with reference to the color of the shadow that's created. In this case, my sun shadow is a light gray, so that's why you're seeing the gray information. Let me just show you the process to create a sun angle. I'll color code it, and that way you'll know how these are done. I typically will create at least four of these in my plan, maybe a couple for the short day of the year and a couple for the long day of the year. So for the winter side, I've got one here for early December, and it's set at 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Let's assume that I want one for somewhere around the noontime. So I'm going to come up underneath the CAD menu, and there is an option down here for sun angle. I'll just click once. The program will then open up the dialog, and you can fill out the information. Let's go ahead and set this to be December 21st, and I want to set this to be at noon. And then on the line style and the fill style, I'm going to set that to be blue. So on the line style, I'm going to override the layer color. We'll pick a blue out of the selection box. I'm going to do the exact same thing. The fill style is what's going to create the 2D shadow. So I'm going to select the exact same blue that I've used. And now I've created a new sun angle. You can move these around as you want. I've kind of organized mine between summer and winter. And as I scroll out a little bit, I put my terrain on level zero. I've done that because I have a walkout basement and it made the most sense to put that there. The sun shadow is being generated in gray for summer. When I click on the winter shadow and I come down and I use the tool make shadow, you can see the projection. It's very different than the summer shadow and you can also see that it's using the blue color and that's why I go through and color code those because it's very obvious if I want to create multiple 2D shadows which one is which. Well, let's return back up to floor one. Alright, so I have a north pointer, I have a couple of sun angles, and I want to start from a 3D camera view that's already been created and it's dialed in with all of the lighting information. I've already have that camera open. You can see it down below down here. I'm going to switch over to that panel where the camera is open. To get to the stationary walkthrough, there's a few ways you can do it. The first way is through the menu system. Underneath 3D walkthroughs is an option to create a stationary walkthrough. I've also added this as a custom toolbar. You can see that in my toolbar over here. I've customized it. I've added that tool. And then in your floor plan view, if you click on the camera, you'll see it in your edit toolbar button in the bottom section of the menu. Let's go through on the walkthrough and take a look at the stationary walkthrough dialog. 
And I'm just going to walk through this from the top to the bottom. At the beginning of the dialog is your resolution. Here's a couple of canned resolutions. The higher the resolution, the longer it will take to generate, the higher quality. Again, I typically do mine at 1920. There are several options. Plus, you can also customize it, and you can uncheck retain aspect ratio if you want something very specific and uniquely shaped. There's a compression setting if you want to condense it. I don't like to have any compression put on mine. I typically will leave that at zero. The duration is the amount of time the animation will take place. In this case, I have it at 15 seconds. This is subjective, so depending on how you want that set up is where you put in the duration. Frames per second. My recommendation is usually at 30 frames per second. If you want a higher fidelity, then you can go up to 60 frames per second and it's very crisp. The higher frames per second, the higher quality, the longer it takes. Next is your video codec. I'm using a Windows system. There's a few codecs built in. I typically use the H264 and I believe Mac also has that same codec. Next is for the sun interpolation information. Time lapse or seasonal. Again, to just kind of review, time lapse is where the sun comes up in the morning, sun sets in the evening, the sun's going to go across the sky, and you're going to see the effects of it. Seasonal is typically going to be at the exact same day for a period of time. In my example I showed earlier, that was at 10 a.m. for an entire year, and you could see the effect of where the sun was each day of the year. And in fact, let me change that over to seasonal, and let's take a look at the start sun angle information. You can see I have a sun angle at 10 a.m., and let's drop that down. These are all the available sun angles that I have in the plan. You can create a new one, you can edit, you can delete them with the toolbars over here. For this one, it's at 10 a.m., July 4th, the year is 2025. If I want this to be seasonal and have it at the same day throughout the year, that means I need a sun angle that would be a year from now. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to choose the one that is at 10 a.m. Let's drop that back down. 10 a.m. and that's a year in advance. Okay, so then down below is information, how many frames it's going to record since we're doing the uh, duration at 15 and we're going to be doing 30 frames per second. It gives you the information. Save to disk. You browse out. You can put it on your disk. I typically would put this in the clients folder underneath their projects under walkthroughs. Go ahead and click the save option. And then the next option is to save this to your chief cloud account. This will put it in your chief cloud account and from your cloud that's included with your software subscription, then you can use that link and share it with your customers. You can also embed it on your website. So that is where you'd put it on your cloud. Again, give it a name if you're replacing it, if you've recorded it a couple times and you need to replace it. Here's where you can choose that option and then you give it a description. Once I click OK, the program is going to go through and compile each one of these frames. This one's a little more intensive. I have line drawing on, I have animated water turned on, and those things are going to add to the time amount. Also, it's a function of your video card, and it may take a while to generate these. So just be sensitive to the fact that some of these may take a little bit longer to run. You might kick it off in the evening or at a lunch break, that sort of thing, and then you can generate your time-lapse walkthrough. As I wrap up this session, I'll show you a couple of time lapses. Here's one from a kitchen scene. So standing at the kitchen island, you can see the effects as we look out over the living room where the sun is at approximately 6 p.m. and then goes into the evening. I believe it's at 9.30 p.m. As I switch gears and move into the bathroom, same setup. I've got the camera dialed in. We're looking towards the window camera is set initially at 6 p.m. for the time lapse, and then as the sun fades down to 9.30, you can see the effects. These are nice videos to be able to show a client how the sun may change in the view depending on what the time of day is. So have fun creating your seasonal or time lapse stationary walkthroughs using the tool from a 3D view.